Okay, right here is a 2013 Caterpillar D11T carry dozer. The D11T was first introduced by Caterpillar in 2008 as a replacement for the older D11R model. Just like the older D11R, the new D11T is available from Caterpillar in two different model forms, depending on what the customer prefers. These include the standard D11T tractor, which can be equipped with either an 11SU blade rated at 35 cubic yard capacity, or an 11U blade rated at 45 cubic yard capacity. What you are looking at right here is the carry dozer model D11T. The massive blade that you see on the front of this tractor measures 22 feet across and it is designed to carry 57 cubic yards of material. In addition to having the ability to push and carry more material than the standard D11T, the carry dozer's big blade also increases the effective weight of the tractor, providing more push power and also better stability when operating on steep slopes. To support this massive blade, the D11T carry dozer features a beefed up undercarriage and frame. As you can see, this particular D11T is equipped with Caterpillar's optional mining package, which consists of additional hand railings and walkways around the operator's cab and also a hydraulically powered access ladder which when engaged will swing down to provide safe access for the operator to climb on and off the tractor. Now let's go up on top of this big cat. Let's take a look at the diesel engine on the D11T first. Replacing the older 3508B EUI diesel engine utilized in the older D11R was a new Caterpillar C32 diesel engine with Acer technology, which you can see right under the hood here. This engine produces 850 horsepower for this tractor. The Acer technology reduces emissions at the combustion point in the engine to help meet the United States EPA emission regulations and also gives precise fuel delivery to the engine and refined air management. This technology delivers outstanding engine performance. When compared to the older 3508B EUI diesel engine utilized in the D11R, the D11T's C32 diesel engine features a 21% rise in torque. The D11T features a two-pass system radiator which provides better heat exchange. Another improvement that was made to the D11T was a redesigned exhaust system featuring larger mufflers and also redesigned curved tip exhaust stacks which were moved further away from the front of the operator's cab to provide for better visibility.
Now, let's go inside the operator's cab. From here, you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the D11T. Okay. When Caterpillar engineers were designing the D11T, they paid close attention to the layout of the controls inside the operator's cab. Some of the controls were redesigned some were repositioned for better visibility, and some controls were even replaced with switches. Out in front, you can see all the gauges to monitor this entire tractor when it's in operation. And down below, you can see a storage compartment. On the floor, you can see two foot pedals. This is the brake pedal on the left side. And this other pedal over here on the right side controls the decelerator. Just like the older D11R, the D11T features an electric clutch brake steering system with fingertip controls. All controls to work the transmission and steering on this tractor are located right here, all positioned around a hand grip, which you can see right here. This is to provide something solid for the operator to hold on to when he's operating this tractor. These two hand levers that you see out in front that you operate with your fingers control the steering clutches. This is how you steer this tractor. Each hand lever controls each individual track. And you simply pull back with your finger to apply the steering clutch. The D11T has a Caterpillar planetary type full power shift transmission installed in it. And to control this tractor's direction is by this switch right here that you operate with your thumb. This is in the neutral position. Push forward to make the tractor go forward and push back to put the tractor in reverse. These two buttons that you see right here are for gear selection. Push the top one to upshift the tractor and push the lower one to downshift the tractor. This hand lever that you see over here on my right side controls all the functions of the blade out in front. Directly behind the blade control hand lever are two fingertip controls which are also positioned around a hand grip just like the steering and transmission controls. These two switches control all the functions of the shank ripper which is located on the back of the tractor. This hand lever controls the ripper angle. This will tilt the ripper forward or tilt the ripper backward. And this switch that you operate with your thumb raises and lowers the ripper. Over here on the right side you can see the ignition switch and other switches and controls to work other various functions on this tractor. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a D11T. The D11T comes from Caterpillar with a standard 425 gallon diesel fuel tank which is mounted directly behind the operator's cab on the back of the tractor. However, this particular D11T is equipped with an optional 505 gallon diesel fuel tank which you can see mounted right here on the back of the tractor. And on the left side here you can see the cap to fill this tank with diesel fuel. Mounted on the right hand side is a 64 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank.
you look right here, you can see the switch to raise and lower the hydraulically powered access ladder, which you can see right here. As you can see, this particular D11T is equipped with a single shank ripper. However, Caterpillar also offered a multi-shank ripper for the D11T, depending on what the customer preferred. If you look up top, you can see the two cylinders to tilt the ripper forward or back. Down bottom, you can see the two cylinders to raise and lower the ripper. And to help give you an idea, of the sheer size of a D11T. This tractor measures 15 feet 4 inches tall from the ground to the top of the ropes over the operator's cab and 11 feet 10 inches wide. The overall operating weight of the standard D11T tractor when equipped with an 11U blade and a single shank ripper is 115 tons. However, a fully dressed D11T carry dozer equipped with the single shank ripper, as you see right here, weighs in at 124 tons. To put it plain and simple, the Caterpillar D11T carry dozer is one mighty tractor.